Hi, this is Tori Myers. I'm here to show you how to make foam hearts. We actually didn't buy anything that you see on this table. We already had it. The foam we got in packaging, it's just regular foam that you get in packaging. Nothing that we had to buy. Uh, the paint I used was Nampa Red, True Red, Warm White, Bright Magenta, Cadium Yellow, and Buttermilk. Um, this right here is about three or four inch foam. These are going to be my fake candy hearts, which I'm very excited about. In Photoshop, we're going to put words on them. So they're going to look super cute. Greg also cut out these half inch hearts which I'm not sure what we're going to do with them, but they're going to be on the set. There's four of them. And this is the bright magenta here. And I think this is the true red, what it looks like. And also, he cut out one that was super thin, so this is going to be my fake cookie. That also will have words written in on it, probably with uh, Photoshop again. Um, some of the colors were mixed. This is this is the bright magenta with a little bit of white just to make it lighter, lighter pink of course. That's pr pretty pretty simple to understand. This is the brush I used for my frosting. And all I did was to make frosting like mama did, put in your paint. You know, just kind of messy. I'm a little bit messy anyways. And you just go down like this, really simple cuz it's supposed to be messy. It's supposed to look like frosting, right? Nothing Nothing exact. Okay, I'll put that back down. And um, then this fat brush. Oh, here, I'll show you the mixture for this um, color. I know it looks kind of like skin, but I think it's going to look nice with my pinks. So that's why I chose that. I took a bunch of this and just a little bit, well, less than half as much as the buttermilk. This is the buttermilk I started with. And now I'm using the Kadam yellow. Just a little bit. I don't, you don't need too much of it. And then I did put a little bit of this uh, magenta in it. But I don't know if it's really that necessary. Oh shoot, I think I put too much. <laughs> Anyways, you just mix it up. See, it's so easy. Just keep on mixing it until you get a color that you like. Or you can stand. And if it's too orange, which that did turn out too orange, I just put more yellow in it. Oh, wow. Huh? Buttermilk? Let's put some buttermilk in there. I think I'm going to have tons of this color of paint now. Woo! Okay, I might have to redo that. But anyways, you just go on top of it like that, and I use less paint. Now it's got a ton of paint. And then on the sides, what I used was this uh, bristle brush because it works really good getting in the the holes. Oh, this is messy. Um, yeah, so that's all you need to do. It, it's going to be fun, and we're going to show you what this turned out like. See, look, it, it really covers it really good. This is just a... I think a one inch wide brush and then them speckles right there I use this bristle brush and I just get in there it works really good and then you just take your pretty wide brush go over it and smooth it out and let it dry and you know I it's easy to fix but I hope this helps people um, with making their foam hearts Greg, um, by the way, Greg used a foam cutter. We have a wire foam cutter to cut out all the hearts. Thank you. Have a good, good weekend.